Today we're going to talk about a trihackney room that I'm going to take us through, which is the Atlassian vulnerability, uh, Confluence servers, self-hosted or otherwise, uh, which is an unauthenticated remote code execution, which is like horrifying. I don't even have to sign in, I just have to have access to the, the, the site, and I'm able to then execute any code theoretically that I want, other than security control controls that may be in place and so let's go ahead and jump over there real quick to this room which is the Atlassian CVE 2022-26134 room uh, that's been made. I love Try Hack Me Now so I'm going to give them the vote up on creating these rooms around modern vulnerabilities so you can kind of play around with them in your head. As you do this walkthrough, you'll say that on May 30th, 2022, an organization named Velexity identified an unauthenticated RCE or remote code execution scoring 9.8 which uh, out of 10. Um, and mainly it's just because this is so ubiquitous and it starts from 1.3 to 7417 all the way to 7181. Um, and you can view the NIST entry for this here. But essentially, what is the full entry for this? And it's obviously set above. So CVE-2022-26134. So that answers that. Um, is 716.2 vulnerable? Yay, of course it is. Of course, we're using the chart. Um, We've already deployed the room. We've already started it. I've already got an IP address. I've already got all the information. They ask you just to go ahead and start and say completed. So we've done that. Um, they talk about what this is, which is an object graph navigation language expression that's used to run Java. Surprise, surprise. Um, and it talks about basically how this works. So please do read that, of course. And I think the answer is object oriented. Right? Is that how they spell it? Object graph navigation language. Sorry, object graph. Um, yep, and then we'll get into what they're saying is listen, go patch. You can detect whether or not you're vulnerable or have been exploited by looking and grepping at the log files for this uh, and confirming whether or not you've had this happen. Go ahead and update. There's also a Yara link here, so you can use Yara for any of your backend uh, security teams. So we'll go ahead and say I don't have any to update, but I'll go ahead and click that I have done it. Um, we break in here and they kind of explain what's really happening and how you can abuse this by just simply using curl uh, with an encoded command. They go ahead and give you a link of how to make URL encodings, although the way we'll be doing this is we won't be um, actually doing it that way. We'll be using the vulnerability POC that was written. Um, there's a walkthrough on that that you can follow here as well. So we're going to go ahead and say download POC, which we have uh, because we're using an attack box. And we're going to go ahead and ensure that the login panel works. Well, here we are, 1010.161.63, 8090, login panel is there. Let's just go ahead and validate that it's functional and up and running. Yep, we're getting a cursor, everything re refreshed. So we're good there. So let's go ahead and say completed on that. Uh, craft a payload. Well, it's G. What payload tells us who the user is? Mm, maybe who am I? Might be a bad idea. So uh, we'll go ahead and use, I guess I don't need my... Um, obfuscation link at the top here but is this try hack me so we can go ahead and do that it's fine uh, but anyways so um crafter payload which would be who am i so we're going to go ahead and do that i'll take us back here and i already have this crafted essentially what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to front slash rooms the capital r obviously because it's linux cv 2022-26134 and then this is actually critical if you try to run python python 3 it will show that there are missing dependencies this is dependent on python 3.9 uh, dot front slash our python file we want to run http 10 10 160, obviously yours will be different and then who am i and i'll go ahead and obfuscate this here in a second before i release this but we can clearly see cve runs pretty graphic and then uh, the who am i user that will go back in and type in on this site um, so got it now we need to grab the flag so they're asking us to say okay Grab the flag stored at front slash flag dot text, which if you look at the encoding of this methodology and we hit up arrow, we can see that basically our command we want passed to the Linux system uh, or the responding back in Atlassian system that we're running on is going to be encapsulated in these two quotes and then injected in with the way we saw in that curl command. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and type in uh, cat front slash flag dot txt and we're going to hit enter. And we will see that we have that flag. Since we're in the browser full view on TriHackMe, we can go ahead and copy this. I'm obviously hopefully hiding it well. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and paste it in and hit submit. 
which now will take us on to our conclusion page that we wanted anyway. And it just says, hey, listen, nice work. Hope you've enjoyed this, which I have. It's been thoroughly wonderful. Uh, stay completed and huzzah. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it.